you can get a big speed boost in games by disabling Optimus on your gaming laptop. I'm going to explain why and show you the actual differences in nine different games at two different resolutions. But first, we need to understand what Optimus is and how it works. Basically, gaming laptops with discrete graphics, whether that be from AMD or Nvidia, process the frames for a game and need to send them to display on the screen. With Optimus enabled, these frames first get passed through the integrated graphics, or iGPU, on the processor before reaching the screen, whether that be Intel or AMD. This can create a bottleneck compared to the discrete graphics sending the frames directly to the screen. Optimus is adding another layer in the process. The reason Optimus exists is because the integrated graphics use less power, so you don't waste as much power when using the laptop on battery. Take these battery life results from the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro for example. With Optimus enabled and just watching YouTube, it's almost possible to double the battery life on the iGPU, as Optimus off otherwise wastes power on Nvidia graphics when it's not needed. Some laptops come without Optimus at all, while others have Optimus enabled and you can't disable it, so you might be stuck one way or the other. You don't really know unless you check reviews like mine, because it's often not specified on the spec sheet. The best laptops in my opinion give you the choice which mode you want to run it in. I always say user choice is best, and a laptop like the Lenovo Legion 7 does give you that choice. Generally a reboot is required to swap between Optimus on and off, but there are also newer laptops with advanced Optimus, which automatically does this on the fly based on what workload you're running. It's not as easy as just disabling the integrated graphics and device manager. In fact, if you do that, some games might actually just straight up crash. Disabling the device doesn't change how the screen is wired to the GPU. If the laptop does offer the option of disabling Optimus, it should be available through the laptop's control panel or BIOS. But if you don't have that option, then don't panic, not all hope is lost. Most laptops can still bypass Optimus by connecting an external monitor, as long as it has a display output port that connects directly to the discrete graphics instead of the integrated graphics, as explained in this video here. Plus, you get a bigger screen if you've got desk space, so hey, win-win. You can easily check which screen a GPU is connected to by opening the Nvidia control panel and going to the physics tab. In this example, I have Optimus enabled and the laptop display is connected to the Radeon integrated graphics. But then with an external display connected, it's bypassing Optimus, aka iGPU, and connecting directly to the Nvidia GPU. For this testing, I'm using Lenovo's Legion 7 gaming laptop, and all testing was done with the same Windows updates, Nvidia drivers, and BIOS. Literally all that's changed is swapping between Optimus enabled or disabled. I've tested these two 16x10 resolutions as my laptop has a 16x10 screen. The lower of the two is only a little extra pixels compared to standard 1080p, and I also wanted to see what differences Optimus on versus off makes at higher resolutions too. So let's get into the results. I want to start out with CSGO, as it's a good example of a best case difference. Generally games that can hit super high frame rates see bigger differences by disabling Optimus, because more frames seem to bottleneck the iGPU harder. Optimus disabled is shown by the purple bars, while Optimus enabled is shown by the red bars. At the lower resolution, the 1% lows aren't that different, but the average FPS was 47% higher with Optimus off at max settings. Interestingly, the gap increases at the higher resolution, the opposite compared to most other games, where max settings is now reaching 71% higher average FPS with Optimus disabled. Although CSGO is more of an outlier result, Fortnite is another game that's capable of hitting high frame rates too. At max settings with Optimus off, it's reaching 21% higher average FPS, and the 1% lows with Optimus disabled are nearing the average FPS with it enabled. Low settings was almost 70% higher with Optimus off, because lower setting presets generally hit higher frame rates which means more bottleneck for the iGPU. At the higher resolution, there are still some pretty big gains to be had in this title by disabling Optimus, but it depends on the settings. Max settings was only 7% better in average FPS, but the 1% low boost was much higher at 37%. Let's look at a more resource heavy AAA game, Cyberpunk 2077. Compared to the other games, the differences are much smaller here, but it's still a clear win for Optimus disabled in the purple bars. At ultra settings, Optimus off was only offering a 5% boost to average FPS, though the gap was larger at 11% with the low preset. The differences were a little smaller at the higher resolution, still a 10% gain at low settings with Optimus off, while max settings was now less than 4% higher. So yeah, still a gain but less pronounced at higher resolution and higher setting levels. Red Dead Redemption 2 had some strange results. At low and high settings, there were basically no differences on the lower resolution, while Optimus disabled was clearly ahead at medium and ultra settings. Things get stranger at the higher resolution, where Optimus enabled was actually ahead at medium and high settings. It wasn't much, but I triple checked these results and it was reproducible. Only at these setting presets in these tests was Optimus on ahead for reasons unknown. Assassin's Creed Valhalla was tested with the game's benchmark. At the lower resolution, there was a below average 7% boost to average FPS, but this doubles to a 14% gain with the low setting preset. Again, smaller differences at the higher and native resolution for the Legion 7 gaming laptop. Still an 
improvement with Optimus off, but it's not like it's going to suddenly become unplayable even with Optimus on. Watch Dogs Legion was also tested with the game's benchmark. There were some decent gains here, almost an 18% boost to average FPS at max settings, but a larger 30% increase to average FPS with the low setting preset, where even the 1% low is nearing even the average from Optimus enabled. At the higher resolution, the 1% lows from Optimus enabled at low through to very high settings are now actually beating the average FPS from Optimus enabled. The difference at low settings is now even larger at 42% higher average FPS with Optimus disabled, though the difference at max settings lowers to a 10% lead. Control is a fairly GPU heavy game, so the differences are on the lower side out of the 9 games tested, but regardless there's still an improvement by turning Optimus off. At the higher resolution, Optimus off is just 8% ahead in average FPS, but at low settings this is still able to offer a higher 22% boost to average FPS. Ray tracing enabled was also tested, and the differences were a bit smaller, likely as ray tracing is even heavier on the GPU, and loading up the Nvidia graphics as much as possible and hitting lower frame rates is likely going to be less of an issue for the iGPU in Optimus enabled mode. The differences are slightly smaller at the higher resolution, presumably for the same reason, but still a win for disabling Optimus if small. Above average gains in Battlefield 5, 20% higher average FPS at max settings at the lower resolution, while the higher resolution still had around 16% gains. Though as is the case with most games tested, a higher 36% boost was seen at low settings. Shadow of the Tomb Raider saw much smaller differences, especially at lower setting levels at the lower resolution, which is in contrast to most other titles tested. The gap widens more at higher setting levels. Things get further apart at the higher resolution, with max settings nearly offering a 13% boost to average FPS with Optimus off. On average, over all 9 games tested at the lower 1920 by 1200 resolution, Optimus off was almost 17% faster than Optimus on when comparing max setting presets. CSGO was up the top and kind of an outlier here, but even if we don't include that one, we're almost looking at a 13% boost to average FPS with the other 8 games. Now at the higher 2560 by 1600 resolution, the average difference is actually similar, but it's being held up by the CSGO result, which is actually even bigger at the higher resolution now. Again, if we instead decide to ignore CSGO, then we're looking at Optimus Off offering a 10% boost on average out of the other 8 games. So still a reasonable improvement for such a simple change. Although a laptop with these specs is more than capable of running games at max settings, for science I've also compared minimum settings. At the lower of the two resolutions, the average difference is now about 23%, and CSGO isn't on top anymore, so it's looking less like an outlier here compared to the others. Same deal at the higher resolution too, where Optimus Disabled is now giving us a higher 33% boost to average FPS. Honestly, I expected the difference to be larger at the lower resolution, but this was not the case. Esports titles and lower setting levels have the most to gain by disabling Optimus. So disabling Optimus can definitely offer a performance boost in games with the same hardware, regardless of the resolution or setting level. Games that can hit higher frame rates generally see bigger differences though, like esports games. But yeah, at the end of the day, if you're up to superior gaming performance, then considering a laptop that lets you disable Optimus should be at the top of your list. Take a look at this video next if you want to get an idea of what sort of a performance boost is on offer with an external monitor if you're stuck with Optimus. And if you're new to the channel, then get subscribed for future laptop videos like this one.